Good evening class, my name is Rebecca Lepore. So this week we will be reviewing the gentleman agreement between Japan and the United States. All right, so in 1907, there was an earthquake in San Francisco and all the schools had to close down. And when the, clo when the schools reopened, they segregated the Japanese students, whom you pretty much considered the second class citizens, and Japan was angry, which angered Roosevelt because he was actually intimidated of Japan because of their growing army and their power in Asia, and uh, President Roosevelt wanted to protect um, the Philippines because at the time it was the United States territory. All right, so what President Roosevelt did was he had his daughter go to take a tour in Japan with the U.S. Secretary of State Eli Root during that time. And it was called the Goodwill Tour, but in reality it was to meet in secret and make a deal. And the secret deal was that the United States would recognize that Japan occupied Korea and, and could t and take over Korea. And in return, Japan understood that it would not touch the Philippines. It was such a secret that it was not revealed for another 20 years. And they, they made the deal on February 24th, 1907. And the reason for that is because the United States sold Korea out to Japan and even then, after they signed the deal, President Roosevelt still was felt felt threatened by Japan, and he also believed that um, the United States it was United United States was entering to the Pacific century. Was so is the time for America to dominate Asia, and it needed to be dominated. So that both of them had the same agenda. So they were both had a lot of tension. So this was their first agreement that they agreed upon. All right. Thank you.